Hi everybody. So just some more um, standing hip stuff. Um, anything that's done on the floor and side lying, I realize if you have a hip replacement, you can't do. So just some more ideas for some of my clients that are at home. And I have lots of requests for tight sore hips. Um, so this is just doing some of our movement from the mat. We're bringing it to a standing place. I'm just holding on to the end of the Cadillac here to demonstrate that if you're at home, you can hold on to your countertop, uh, the back of a kitchen chair, stairs, whatever you have that's accessible to you. Um, if you don't want to hang on, by all means, just do whatever feels good. So just feeling the transfer of weight from side to side. So if you've been sitting for a long time, either at your desk or I had some clients say they're sitting in you know unfriendly uh, ergonomic chairs at home trying to work, um, don't get up from sitting and just throw yourself into a big drastic yoga stretch. So start with this lateral motion or just some movement in the hips. So this is going to wake up your abductors. Okay, you can take this into like a bigger star or jelly um, starfish motion as well. Jellyfish on the mind. Um, or even just circling the hips, which I know might seem kind of silly and very like basic, um, but it's creating a circular motion through the pelvis, the hip joints, and the low back. So again, if we're complaining of tightness, uh, move your body, move and loosen up a bit as opposed to going straight into a stretch. So just for some side movement here. So if we balance on one leg, one leg out, hanging on if it feels good and doing side leg lifts in standing. So I'm staying parallel. So you should feel a lot of work through your standing um, leg through the side glute area. Still thinking of that neutral or that sense of lifting through the front. You can think of that pelvic floor and trying to stabilize. So because I'm talking, I'm not breathing here. But as you exhale, feeling that core connection. So now I'm going to a sagittal plane movement here, but my standing leg is still working to balance me. Okay, if you can add in some twisting, so if you're still hanging on to something, you can still twist your upper body while you're still holding on. So it's still going to just move the pelvis, challenge that balance a little bit differently. Okay, also just circling the leg. So little ballerina like here, but moving again through the hip in every range of motion, as opposed to just staying, sitting, and then coming up and doing a drastic stretch. Hope that's helpful, gives you some more ideas. Stay safe.